So today it's all about making ridiculous amounts of money. And I found the best idle games to do that. Don't believe me? Well, it works like this. You just click it a bunch of times so you can get some money. And then once you have enough money, you come over here and buy some upgrades. So it turns on its own. Of course, it's not turning nearly fast enough. It's making a dime every second. We'll just click it a ton more times so we can increase that even more. And then once we upgrade it again, we're starting to make a third of a dollar every time. We're going to be here a while. And now we're up to 0.4. Just going to increase it one more time so we can get half a dollar every second. That's a good number to be at. And then if we look over here, there's a big old machine that the game wants us to connect to. But we need more money so we can buy more gears. So click away. And now we can get the gear and place it somewhat in line with the machine like this. And now they're both spinning. We are getting a dollar every second because there's two of them rotating at half a dollar a second. So the next time I get a turn speed upgrade, it goes up 0.2 every time. But turn speed is no longer the optimal upgrade. It is simple gears. And just to make sure that this is always lined up. Now we're just shy of getting $2 a second. Although that's only what this number says. We're actually getting $3 a second. So that combined with the power of my clicks and that just made a noise. So we can get the upgrade for money per turn. But gears are going to be the better thing right now. Although to be fair, our gears are a long way away from this machine here. I don't even know what it does. It's just got a little tube on it. I would certainly like to get better money per turn. So let's get this upgrade right now. So now we're amassing $6 per tick. I don't really like ticks, but that's okay because these ticks give me money. And now the next upgrade unlocked where we can get better money per click. Let's go with the gear for now. So now we're making seven and a half dollars every second. But let's hopefully increase our turn speed to be amassing one tick per second. Okay, now we can afford better money per click. Do I get that or better money per turn? I'm doing a lot of clicking, so let's get some click money up. So now we're making 15 extra cents per click. Not sure that was worth it. Although it is very quick for us to get $300 now, which is a decent start, but it's nowhere near the million that I want. So let's increase the turn speed. And now by the game's calculations, we're getting $6 a second, even though we're getting seven and a half every second. Although it is a good basis to go off of, especially if I just get another gear. So now we're making $9 a second. And with that, I can get my armor break from all the clicking. Just for a little bit though. Gotta get that money. Gotta get that fast money. And then also see what things hopefully this machine gives us. Ooh, now we can get better money up for the simple gears. I still want to increase the turn speed just to get that evened out to one per second. And then just get lost in the hypnotic turning of the gears. Round and round they go. When they'll stop, no one knows. And now we're at to level 10 with the turn speed. So now we're getting one tick per second. And that increased the cost needed to a thousand monies. Wow. Game really doesn't want me to gain much higher than that. That's fine though. That's all I wanted to get to for that upgrade anyway. So now that we're getting one turn every second, we can increase the money per turn. And now we're getting $12 a second. My clicks seem kind of pointless right now. And I don't really want to get another upgrade for it if it's only 15 cents of an increase. No thanks. I'll just get another gear. And since I'm getting so many gears, I might as well get the simple gear money upgrade. So now we're getting $15.2 per second. Not sure what kind of an increase that was, but it doesn't seem like the one to go for. Instead, it's going to be the money per turn that gets me the extra dollars. And the only gear we can afford is still the simple gear. Oh, but now we can get the big gear if I just wait a little bit and get a thousand monies. There's another thing that showed up right down here. Another kooky machine. How far away are you? Yeah, you're pretty far away and I'm not even building towards you right now. I still want to see what this one does. Although the big gears should help with that quite a bit. Oh, wow. That jumped us up to $24 a second. So this gives $5 a second. I like it. So then the next upgrade over here is probably the big gear money up. So let's make sure we have a few big gears to help with that. Now we're making $29 a second, although they are getting expensive pretty quickly. So I think simple gears are the way to go. And it's really hard to tell how much progress I'm making because there's just a void between the machine and the gears. But now the simple gears cost a thousand. So let's get the simple gear money up again. And I guess since I can afford it all the time, click the money up. Now we're making an extra 30 cents per click. Wow. My clicks seem so helpful right now. Yeah, let's just get better money per turn. Wow. That's doing the numbers. Now, if we increase the turn speed again, we're actually getting more money per turn. So it's not an even one to one. It's a one to two. And then maybe later we'll get a three to four. But now we'll get another gear. Now we're making almost $50 a second. Another gear. And it seems like we're getting closer. I think my gears aren't perfectly lined up, but what does it matter? As long as we connect it and get better money from all the simple gears that we have. So now we're getting $55 a second. And I don't really like that this upgrade is always available. So fine, I'll buy it. And I'll buy it again before I even see what it does. And maybe one more time. So now that costs more than a thousand. How much money do I get per click? Ooh, $2 now. I'm okay with this. $2 and a penny. Gotta count those pennies. And hey, I was right. The next upgrade to unlock is the big money up or the big gear money up, which currently gives us five per one of them. So if we upgrade again, we're getting quite a bit more. Not as much as I would hope for. I much would have rather bought another gear. Although our money is constantly over a thousand now, it seems like. So we should be able to do that in no time at all. Like so. Ooh, 64 per second. I like it. Now let's increase 
increase the turn speed a little more. And now we're making a nice amount nice. of money. And then we buy another gear and increase the money per turn. We're getting close to 100 money per second, which is what I like to see. And I also like to see these simple gears giving me more money. And then we can increase the turn speed a little more. $98 a second. So with another simple gear money up, we are getting $100 a second. And now we can afford a big gear for better money numbers. And we're actually catching up to the cost of things kind of quickly. We can catch up to that even faster if we increase the turn speed. And we are once again at the point where my clicks mean absolutely nothing. So let's just increase the money per turn. $156 a second now. And then if we put a big gear lined up like this, we're approximately one screen size away from the device. So you can see the edge of it right there. And then right down here, it's right there. The rest of the gears, which is quite the line that's forming right now, I must say. Oh, we can also afford better money from the big gears. So we'll do that really quick. Now they're giving us a nice no. amount of production. And they're also responsible for 40% of production, which is interesting. And then if we increase the turn speed once more, we're getting one and a half rotations every second, which is allowing us to get the upgrades we want much sooner. I could actually wait just a few more seconds and then get another big gear. And now if I just go ahead and increase the money per turn and the money from the simple gears and then buy a simple gear, we're just about to the machine. But I would like to see better turn speed. So now we're getting over a quarter of a thousand per second, which is good for me because that means I can buy these big gears a lot sooner. And check it out. We can see the gears that are turning and the device we're trying to connect to at the same time. It only took like 20 gears to get to this point. Not that I'm complaining. We're making good money out of it and we can get better money right there. Almost 300 a second. And if we increase money per turn, yes, that gets us above 300. 326 actually. That's what I like to see. And another simple gear for my troubles. I really wonder what this thing's going to do. I feel like it's going to be more passive income because that's how these idle games usually go. But for now, we'll get better money from the simple gears. And should I buy better click upgrades? I think I will just see what they get for me. So now our click money is level 10. Now that gets us $4 every click, which really doesn't matter when we're making 350 a second. Or maybe it does. You can see the number change artificially when I do this. You might be asking why I don't just turn on the auto clicker. And I say you're asking too much. I'm just going to turn on the turn speed. And I think this is going to take too long if I keep buying the simple gears. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and get a big gear, which is actually almost half of our production already. And if we increase the money gained from the big gears, that gets us roughly 48% of the total production. It's a little weird though that both these numbers well, don't add up to 100. Guy. I guess my clicking makes up the extra percentage. But let's increase the money from the big gears again. There's half of the production. And then whatever that number is doing. And now that the money per turn is at level 10, we're at over $500 a second. That's very good because these gears are getting expensive. And it's too bad clicking in like this doesn't make the turns go up any faster. Doesn't matter though. Let's get our simple gear money leveled up a little bit. Hopefully we can get it to level 10 because level 9 just happened very quickly. And that level 10 is almost as much as a big gear money up upgrade. Really not sure what affects the inflation of these upgrades, but it doesn't matter too much because now we have level 10 and we are making $327 per turn. So now we can slap in another big gear. Oh, they're getting expensive. But the machine is right there. It's fine. We'll just buy the gears that we can because now we can actually see the target now and increase the turn speed a little more and then get another simple gear in. Let's think about this. The big gears are roughly that size and the small gears are about that size. So if I got, I'd say five or six big gears in, I can connect to it. And then it would take a lot more of the small gears to get to that point. So let's just get that started with one big gear and increase the money from the big gears because now we have 10 of them and increase the turn speed as well. That's level 19. And then get the turn speed to level 20. So now there's two ticks every second. And then we'll just increase the money from the big gears again and the money per turn. Oh, we're almost there. Next milestone of money per second. And I wonder if we upgrade the simple gear money up again. It did a fair amount of increase. At this level of income, it might be better actually to start getting some more simple gears because I can afford that one right now. And the next price is only 30,000, which I can afford right now. And every gear is also helping our income. And then one more simple gear. Aha, a thousand monies every second. And I think if we just get one more big gear, that should be enough to fill in the slot right here. It's just that now everything is so expensive to unlock, but that's okay. We just got to wait a few more seconds. And now the last gear can get slotted in place and be perfectly lined up with the machine. Aha! Now what is it doing? Extra money per turn. You'll receive yada yada per gear turn for 10 seconds. Oh, well then let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I can. I guess because this bar needs to fill. If I click, will it fill faster? I honestly have no idea, but let's just let this little bar fill up all the way to 100. Ooh, and now it's saying we receive $52 per gear turn for 10 seconds, but it can level up again. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I bet it fills up faster if we increase the turn 
confirm speed as well. And I can just unlock the BFG. That of course stands for big hecking gear, which costs a hundred thousand monies. Oh my goodness. And then it's going to take just as long to build down to this machine. Goodness gracious. But now this bonus is level two. So now we're, we'd be getting 200 extra per gear turn. Let's just increase the turn speed some more. I want to see this get to level three and then I'll activate it. And every time it levels up, it seems that the cooldown increases as well. I see. Well, let's also increase the money per turn so we can get the most out of this bonus. So now bonus is level three. That's an extra pretty much 400 per gear turn. Let's go ahead and activate it. Oh yeah, I'm kicked into overdrive. 2,000 monies every second. Ooh, I like it. And that was a really quick 10 seconds. It's back down to normal numbers, but now we can afford the BFG. I don't even know what kind of numbers this could do, but that is a massive gear indeed. I'll go ahead and point that straight down. Oh yeah, that really boosted production. That alone is responsible for $90 a second. Also, just look at how fast the small gear is turning. It is ridiculously quick. It's doing that weird reverse spin effect thing. I don't even know what it's called, but that's what it's doing. So why don't we go ahead and activate this again already because the cooldown will be quicker. I'm not even sure if it really is going, but it looks like it is. That's going into overdrive and the money increases almost 2000 a second. So just a little more waiting and we can get a second BFG. Second BFG acquired. Let's line it up with the machine down here. And now we're getting one and a half thousand every second. Just those two gears alone are responsible for over 10% of production. That's kind of crazy to think about. It's also kind of crazy to think about how expensive they're getting. My goodness. Maybe I should see what I can do by increasing the money clicks. So that's level 17, which gets us $10 a second. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't know why I said $10 a second either. It's $10 a click. But now I really want to get this to level 20 and see what kind of thing that does. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long. Level 20 and that gets us $16 a second. Although that's really not giving me the boost that I'm looking for. That's what this machine is for. Thinking if I activate this once it's level 3, I can afford that BFG once the timer runs out. Although that might have been a long shot. This is already not looking good for that. Even with my extra clicks, it doesn't really help much. I can't afford a big gear right now, though. And there's the BFG money upgrade, which is only 6,000 cheaper than another gear. My goodness. Well, let's just go ahead and increase money per turn and again, and then get in more of these big gears so we can bridge the gap a lot quicker and then increase how much money those big gears make. I'm really not sure what sort of machine would have such a long chain of gears like this and then have two giant ones around the main tiny one, but it doesn't really seem to matter because each of these gears spin at the same rate, it seems like. So the big gear gets more money once again and so do the tiny gears. Now the big gear money is at level 10. It's get just just shy of 2,000 per second. That's okay. That's what the simple gears are for. 2,000 monies every second. And then we increase the bonus. And now we're getting 3,000 a second. Oh, yes. I love to see it. And then doing every little bit that I can with these $16 per click. Although all of those increases really isn't helping me get to this other device here. And it'd be quicker just to get a bunch of these small gears to try and bridge that gap. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try it, though. And these simple gears are the more cost-effective route now because they're just overall cheaper. And the level two bonus every now and then is a very nice addition. And this big gear really likes to spin on its own. And then it resets. At least I'll buy simple gears until they're close enough in price to the big gears. Because then it's just a little more weighing and then I can buy a big gear. And what's interesting too is that a level one bonus will give me an extra 100 per gear turn boost now instead of the 90 some whatever it was before. So if I just wait for it to get to level two, it's already at 400. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to see it get to level three now. Thankfully, just a little more waiting and I can do that. And go for an extra 700 on top of everything else. And let's increase the money per turn really quickly. Yes, $4,000 per second with that. It's getting to the point now where the simple gears are almost responsible for $1,000 of production. And look at that. Now they are. Good job, simple gears. Proud of you. Doing so good, I think it'll give you a money up increase. Oh, and how about that? These other gears were starting to cost so much that I can actually afford a BFG in their place, which is a good thing for me. Now this device is starting to get in range of all the gears. Good. And now a level three increase from here gives almost an extra thousand. But an extra 800 is pretty good too. I wonder actually how high the level bonus can get to. I think I'll worry about that later though. Now I just want to see an extra thousand get added on top of everything. Yes, $5,000 a second. And that gets us in range of another BFG. Just a little more waiting. And that's what these owl games are really good at doing, making you wait. Oh, that's so close. Might as well just start clicking on this one so I can see some sort of quicker increase. I'm thinking I can get one more BFG in here and then focus on just the big gears because I think this one's going to cost a million next go around. In any case, the level three bonus right here is looking really good right now. So I'll just let that go for a little bit. Maybe click to give it a bit of assistance. And now it's a lot less waiting for the next BFG, which we can slap in right there. Oh, another one would bridge that gap. But as I thought, that one costs a million. My goodness. And it seems like the extra gears are really making the bonus charge up faster. 
faster. Very interesting. Now, all we would need to reach this is two more of the big gears. Let's get one in. And that is definitely making it charge up faster. So all it should take now is another level three boost like this, giving us $5,000 a second. And just a little more waiting, especially since a simple gear definitely won't reach. And that would just be annoying. That's okay, because we don't need to do that. And bammo, other machine connected. Yes, now we can complete the demo just like that. So it looks like this other bonus would increase the extra ticks per second. And then we can activate both of them for just a lot more money. But we were able to get up to $3,000 a second just by doing, you know, normal things. See this little bee here? He's got an important job, and that's to make me a lot of money by zipping over to this beehive and <laughs> zipping away so we can get more nectar to eventually bring to it. There he goes. So we just fill up a lot of jars with honey and then get the money from it which we can use to upgrade the bees so we get more bees, give them a little bit of a speed boost. And we can also zip up the conveyor as well so we get the money sooner. And the more jars that we sell, the more we level up. And then once we get enough levels, we can unlock even more bees, some purple bees this time, which already gives us a lot more nectar than the bees over here. So we can give them a few upgrades, exactly one. And we can also upgrade the conveyor as well so we get more money from the different jars that we sell. It was eight before, but the new ones are already giving us 57 monies every time. That is wonderful. And since these bees are still cheap to upgrade, we'll go ahead and give them a lot more numbers to work with. And even then, they're only doing slightly better than the ones over here. We can give them a boost. Although the bees do pretty good on their own, so we don't need to click them too bad. It's mostly just clicking the conveyor belt so we sell the jars faster. And also hopefully get the conveyor up to level 9, which means that each jar sells for 112 monies. The new new jars that we're selling are giving us a lot more experience, which is very good. That means we get new bees faster. And also just upgrade these bees over here, as well as these ones over here, and get the conveyor to level 10. So it already costs nearly 2,000 to upgrade it again. Nice. There's also tasks here, and I'm not sure what level we unlock those at. Oh, hey, there's a task unlocked. So we get gems for completing all of these, like improving the conveyor. So we can collect those gems. We can improve the bees five times for easy gems there. So we're making four and a half thousand monies every jar. Beautiful. And here is level 10. So we get... Cookie bees? It's literally a cookie with wings. <laughs> what in the world? I need more of these. Two of those is already giving me 825 honey per second. That's almost as much as these already. And I have nearly a full thing of that. Aha, there it is. So we can reset the bees over here. That gives them a level so they can give us more honey every time. Very nice. Now these are giving us a thousand and a half. Oh, I like this. And we can almost reset them again because that's a full thing, I think. There it is. But we need... Aha! So the gems are for the resetting. We could watch an ad for that, but nah. Let's just devote our money to upgrading these bees and hopefully resetting them. Oh wow, we have a million honey in the reserve. Wow. Oh yes, sell the jars like crazy! And it's almost keeping up with the production going in as I'm selling them fast like this. I think I said that backwards, but let's upgrade again so we have even more of a honey shortage. Aha! Level 15, we can get new bees. Okay, we'll open this up. Huh? Radiation bees? What? Usually radiation doesn't come until like the second or third video. But here we are making nuclear honey over here. And now we have five homes here and that gives us 35,000 every time. Oh my gosh, upgrading them increases it by 5,000? Well, sure. Now we can reset both the normal bees and the purple bees again. I really just want to reset the cookie bees. But there's still so many combs that I need to fill. I need four more levels there, which thankfully we're getting the money for them very quickly since we're selling the jars for 131,000 a pop. And there we can reset the cookie bees, but we need a few more gems for that. There we go. Reset the bees. Yes. Okay, why is it right 10,000 like that? This game is obsessed with using Ks, but there is like all the zeros. Oh, well. And we're almost to the point where upgrading the conveyor costs a million. It is at level 30, so that makes sense. Although I wonder if we ever reset the conveyor. Well, if we haven't at this point, then maybe we don't. But hey, we have a million monies at our disposal now, so that's a good thing. That 
Wow, most of that went to upgrading the radiation B. 1.4 million on the next upgrade. Goodness gracious. At least we have a lot of honey that we can sell right away. Can I get to... 200,000 every jar. Yes, 360,000. That's even better. Now all the cookie bees are filled up, so they're ready to reset, even though I don't really have the ability to do that anytime soon. I can't even imagine how many gems it takes to reset the radiation bees. Although the experience bar is filling up quickly enough that we might see a new type of bee soon. Right down here, especially if we just upgrade again. Shortage problem forget about it. Oh man, the jars are selling for 2 million when they're at capacity. That's the interesting thing though. The jars aren't even necessarily waiting for capacity. So we're making less money per jar. Very interesting. And I think the amount of experience we get is based on the amount that the jar sells for, not necessarily that we're selling the jars. I see. Well, let's go ahead and give the purple bees a reset because we can get a lot of them back with the 10 million monies that we have. Very nice. They're ready to reset again. More radiation bees for us, which is making a million every second. My gosh. There, we're starting to catch up on the honey production there. The number isn't quite reaching zero anymore. A few more radiation bees upgrades. Ensure that. And they cost... Oh, only 25 gems to reset. Not as bad as I thought, but we're about to see level 20. Look at that bar jump up. I like it. Now, what sort of bee do we get now? Uh, a lamp bee? Isn't that just a moth? It's literally a light bulb. These are the brightest bees of the bunch. And upgrading them costs 16 million. My goodness. These are some expensive bees. Ooh, and we can reset the radiation bees. That sounds like a good idea. Get a whole bunch of them back and we can get 720,000 every second off of 16 bees. But we can just increase that number very quickly because we're doing very good for ourselves. So now they're back up to a million and we're not even at full capacity on radiation bees. And the experience bar is still moving up at a very good pace. But maybe we are reaching zero because the capacity of the honey jars is 3.8. 5 million now. I need to stop hitting that button. I need to work on my bees. Okay, let's try to do some mental math here. We're getting some production every minute or every second from this, which is, let's say, two and a half million. And the jars sell every two seconds, it looks like. And the capacity is 5 million. So we're a little shy of going positive on the storage here. So if we just upgrade the bees some more, so there's 3 million every second. And that should mean that this this number will steadily start to grow now. I see it dip down to the hundred thousands, but not necessarily zero. Okay, there's a zero. Time to get some more lampies on our side. So they're producing two million every second. There, now we're getting extra honey right there. Extra honey means extra money. Isn't that funny? And now we're at level 25, so that gives us a new type of bee, a spinner bee. Is that like the wind propeller things? Oh. <laughs> that's not even a bee, that's cheating. But hey, it gives us some good honey, so, you know, if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck sort of thing, right? Although it doesn't even look like a bee, so I don't know what that analogy was. I tell you, with this kind of production, you could give all the honey back to the bees, and then they would shut down, like, all production and go on vacation for the first time in, like, 27 billion years. I feel like that's the plot point of a movie. Well, I have enough gems to reset some of the bees, and since I need to improve the bees pretty quickly, I really wonder just how many times I can reset these bees so that's just a crazy amount or how many times it would take. Look at that. They're level four and it only gives 12,000. It's very not worth it to do that. These poor little bees being outranked by cookies and fidget spinners. And even though I'm clicking these fidget spinners like crazy, we're still not going positive on the honey production. I'm supposed to be getting a billion monies every jar. What is this? And the game wants me to upgrade the conveyor again. Do you know how much I'm struggling here to keep up with it? At least if I just wait for the honey to collect, then this will give me enough gems to reset the spinners again. And I have a nice amount of money stored up so I can give them a lot of upgrades at once. And selling all the jars super quickly, even for littler amounts, means that we have a new type of bee available to us. And that is the ball bee. Not a ball bee. I swear, if it's just a beach ball. No, it's a tennis ball. Thank goodness I was getting worried about the beach balls. But hey, we'll just give them a whole bunch of upgrades. So we're easily making a billion every second. And now we're getting into the positive. 600 million every second on 20 tennis balls. I like it. I think that means that these things can reach up to a billion once they're at 30. Oh, even better. 
They're only at 25 and they're making a billion. I like it. Also, I just noticed that our conveyor is almost at level 60. I'm thinking when I get these guys to level 30, I can just let them sit for a while because they're pulling the most weight here. And I don't think it would work well for me to reset them yet. Although we do have 41 gems, so we can reset something. The spinner bees at level four and fully upgraded should get us to a billion from them as well. And sure enough, we're only at 29 cells, it looks like. But the last one should give us 1.2 billion. Oh, not quite. That's okay, because now we're getting 2 billion every second, especially since that's going to put us over 100 billion storage, honey. That's the phrase, I promise. Oh, hey, they're not even full yet. Hold on. There's the 1.2. I knew it. And then the ball bees being full. That bee. I swear, that's the longest I've gone without making a bee pun. But if we reset them, that's going to be 3 billion every second. I think we can get a comfortable cushion on the storage of honey. And just, you know, sell enough of these to have a whole lot of money stored up for us. And this is taking me a lot of clicks in order to wind down the storage. That's a good sign. So we'll just get a very, very comfortable amount of money. And then all the storage gets wound down and then we reset the ball bees with 260 billion monies to use so we can get all those back very very quickly completely full and there's three billion right there it's perfect okay we've had some crazy things so far cookies lamps spinners balls what's next a cool bee oh please tell me it's a bee with sunglasses yes it's a bee with sunglasses <laughs> I also love, oh yes, I love the 15 billion before the first reset too. Hey, the collect honey objective is in the trillions now. Yay, and we can upgrade the conveyor comfortably this time for another task to be completed. And let's reset the cool bees and just buy up as many of them as we can and click on all these bees because that's an objective. That and I need something to do while I'm waiting for the money to roll in. And I will say it is quite the slow process in order to get the bees leveled up enough so that this number just keeps going up like just these two bees alone we're looking at 47 almost 48 okay 48 almost 50 billion honey coming in every second and that's just barely keeping up with the amount that we're selling as well what's even crazier is how cheap it is to reset these bees too anything less than 30 account is cheap but we just need to give the conveyor two more upgrades and we have a nice Yikes. conveyor which puts us in negative production again why do i do this to myself well we can actually reset the ball bees right now which will give us 50 billion every second just on them which i kind of need to do because we're selling 65 billion at a full jar 65 point nice billion every jar no nice. it's just too bad that they're super expensive to upgrade and that seems to finally put us in the positive on honey production there so we can just let this roll until we hit level 40 because that'll give us the new bee level 40 is here and that means new bees <laughs> chicken bees i don't even know what to think anymore it's literally just flying drumsticks shouldn't those be like wings or something like that well we can reset them right away with quite a few gems left over and gain the level two chicken bees all the way up is 300 billion there i had to upgrade the cool bees again so that's 500 billion there that's a lot of billions but that should be enough of a buffer to upgrade the conveyor uh twice because that's all the money i had but hey, it's enough of a buffer that we're keeping 50 trillion honey in reserve. And we can reset the chicken bees again. So... Oh, I wish I had more money. Well, I can just speed up the money making because I can quickly sell a whole lot of these. So now the chicken bees are giving us 600 billion every second. And we have enough gems to reset the cool bees once more. So once all these guys are upgraded as far as they can go, then they are producing a trillion honey every second. That means we can upgrade this one quite a few times as long as we have the money to fund it. So we're getting a nice amount of capacity every jar and a little bit more so it's still looking nice and then there's a trillion every time we sell a jar which is absolutely crazy <laughs> so we can reset the chicken bees and hopefully get a whole lot of them now the chicken bees are also giving us a trillion before they're even fully upgraded so now we can sell the honey at a very comfortable pace while we wait for level 45 to roll around because that'll give us the final bee it took a lot more upgrading but here we are level 45 so the final bee is available to us. Hopefully it produces a lot of honey because now the factory needs a quintillion amount of money to upgrade. But here we go. 
It is the mutated bee. What does that even look like? It is... Oh, it's got two sets of wings. Well, that's fun. Let's just get a lot more of those because they only cost single digit trillions to get leveled up. So that gives us one and a half trillion every second at just the base level, which sadly is not enough to keep up with the 76 trillion capacity each of the jars have. But we have a lot of gems left over, so we can just go ahead and get all these upgraded again. So in the future, it probably would even out to being good for us. But really, that's all the bees that there are. But at least it doesn't take us too long to get to a quintillion monies. So today we're going to use this 3D printer to print up a bunch of things like some $2 soccer balls. And then eventually make so much money that we crash the economy. We can make the printer work a little faster by just giving it a couple clicks here. And then once we have enough, we can give the printer some upgrades. So each print is worth a little bit more money. We just got to do that a few more times. And the nice thing is we can just click right here and the print will just go right into the mousey range so we can sell it right away. Or I could just, you know, click on it and sell it right away. And then once we get this printer to level 10, we can get a new model drawing, a little earth. And now each of our prints are selling for five and a half dollars. Oh, we can just go so ahead and upgrade this a few more times so we can get a nice amount of money from it. And now we have a hundred dollars, which is enough to buy a second print it's gonna print a whole car. I mean, really, it's probably just like a model car, but at least it's worth $30 on its own. Ooh, and now we get a little bonus that makes the conveyor go faster. Doesn't really matter if we're selling them on their own, but if they do reach the end of the conveyor, then there's other things we can get, like a sort of spray paint thing and a box thing. And then they go into here and then they get sold that way. But you know, these printers aren't going nearly fast enough for that to even matter. So we just need to upgrade these printers some more so they can go even faster on their own. And you know, get a little bit of help from me. Now the soccer balls are really flying and so are the earths. And we're just a few levels away from upgrading the first printer a second time. And now we're printing, what the heck? What was that? I need to see it. It's a robot eye that looks like Sputnik. Interesting. At least that's worth $17, but the cars are still worth more. So we'll just give some more love to this printer. And we're just gonna go ahead and collect some more money so we can buy a third printer already. That's gonna print a barrel, I guess. Well, at least that's gonna be worth something. $520 to be exact. Now let's get the second blue printer upgraded level 10 so we can print a basketball. I don't know what the point is of printing sports balls, but here we are. And this yellow printer has quite a bit of speed behind it. But let's see how many upgrades we can get with two and a half thousand dollars because they only cost 70 at this point and we can get it to level 30. So we're printing light bulbs and look at it go. It is just cranking out the prints. Good thing these spools of filament are near infinite. Also not too sure how good a 3D printed light bulb is. But at least I can get $75 from that and give quite a few worthwhile upgrades to the blue printer so that can get leveled up again and we can print cameras a pretty high detailed camera too look at that it's got a lens and everything $258 from that. So the most money that we're getting is still from, ooh, hello speed, from the barrels down here. So we can leave that top conveyor belt to just go and sell the prints on its own. We need to level up this guy so that each print is worth $730. And eventually we get to the point where they're worth a thousand. And all it took was seven levels to get to that point. Very nice. It's also really fun to watch just how fast the yellow printer is going. And with $10,000, we can make that go a lot faster. Level 44, now we're printing first aid kits. It's like, oh, you got a paper cut? Just shove some plastic in there, no problem. And those prints are near instant. There's like no gaps between them at all, except for the size thing. That's a lot of money rolling across the top right there. And we can watch all these things just stream into here. Ooh, at really fast speeds. So now we can really watch the money coming in. Yeah, boy. I like it. Now we should have enough to get this green printer to level 10 so we can print a volleyball. Why is it sports balls? Why can't I have more fun things like robo eyes? At least the prints down here are worth $2,000 on their own. Whereas the first printer is only 200. I bet I can get something fun if I can get this yellow printer all the way to level 50. Oh, surprisingly nothing. I guess we've unlocked all the different prints that that printer can make. That's a little disappointing. We'll just have to level up these other ones so that they can print fun things like garbage. I'm I guess technically it's recycling, but you know, it's all plastic, so you it's a little ironic that way. And if we just give the blue printer one or two more upgrades, then each of those prints are worth a thousand. We just go a little farther with this and we can get the third printer on the top conveyor belt. It's gonna print tea kettles and just zip them away for, woo, 24,000 a piece. Oh yeah, that's looking really nice, especially for upgrading this green one down here. So now each of those prints are worth 
4,000. And we should have unlocked something new. I didn't catch what it was. It's an alarm clock. Nice. And we're collecting $100,000 so easily. I like it. We'll also just boost this printer so the tea kettles get out faster. And then we'll use all this money to get the blue printer to level 40 so that last thing can get unlocked. What the heck is that? It's a glass container. All right then. Don't mind if I do. Let's just speed all these along. And ooh, we unlocked an achievement. What did we get? Million in the bank. So we've collectively made a million monies. I like it. Be nice if I had an actual million though. And again, I'm not too far away from that now. Just gotta devote my attention to this slightly orange printer. And there it is, a million in our pockets. Perfect for going to a new printer, which is slightly deeper orange. And it's printing, oh, it's a battery. I thought that was an energy drink. I guess that's better. 303,000 off of that, that's way better. It's also kind of funny how the immediate price for this upgrade is a million, the cost of the original printer. But at least we're getting even more nice money out of that. It's about time we put some love towards this printer again to get all of those patterns unlocked because they're fun. And now we're just printing, what even is this, a well? Not too sure what goes through 3D print hobbyist minds to make this stuff, but at least it makes a good TikTok or something like that. Now just a few more levels here, and there should be the last print for that one, which is a weird sort of urn looking thing. But it's worth 43,000, so I like that. Ooh, and we can get the air spray station, the paint booth. That's it. So now that we have the paint booth, we're painting the prints. And that shit means they're worth more. Oh yeah, 971 there. And the batteries are worth 500,000 all on their own. But we need to make sure that this thing is filled. So we'll just devote a lot of upgrades to that because there's a lot of prints going through here. We really need to fill this thing up. And those prints are looking really nice. Green basketballs for whatever reason. The earth is actually colored properly. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest. But maybe I'll just let that go on its own. Ooh, red light bulbs, just in time for Christmas. In here, let's level up this orange one a little bit more so those prints are worth even more. Okay, now it's starting to look weird. Earth with purple ocean. But man, this thing needs a lot more colors. It goes through them so fast. And now this printer's at level 10, so we can print, ooh, scales. And these prints are almost worth a million a piece. One million dollars. Just gotta wait for this battery to get through. And then we collect it. Yeah, 1.3 million for the painted batteries. I like it. Gotta speed these puppies along and make sure that the paint station is filled at all times. And just a few more seconds, we can get the second printer on the second conveyor belt. It's about time. What is it printing there, a telescope? It's a microphone. Ooh, and the microphones are worth 30 million? What? I like the looks of that. You know, I just realized that I completely neglected this yellow printer. It's only a level two and it's so slow. Let's just crank all the levels out of you. So we're printing feet and Whatever this is, there's the robo leg. Now we're really getting large amounts of money. I like it. And now the orange printer is at level 20, which means we can print oil drums. Huh, also seems a bit ironic. And maybe I should be putting some of these hundreds of millions towards upgrading the painting station because we need to fill the colors faster and have more of them. 14 things colored, I like it. Ooh, and now we can package the things. This means they're worth more once they're packaged, right? Oh yep, dumping the boxes on there and I believe so. It's a bit hard to tell, but we'll just go ahead and do that. Slapping all the boxes on there as much as we can. And then we'll upgrade this a few times so there's a few more boxes. And then I'm really curious if we can get this first printer all the way to level 100 and then whatever that does. That should be fun, I think. So we get to level 100 and we can actually make it go even higher, but now it's worth 100,000 and a half. And now we're pushing it beyond the levels of 100. It's 118. Just gonna get to 120 for even numbers. And surprisingly, it doesn't look any faster than it was before. We should also get this guy to level 40 so we can unlock water bottles because that's absolutely something that needs printing. And then this printer can get all the way to level 10. So we're printing money. Hey, now that's something a 3D printer is good for. A big old coin worth 83 million, I like it. And thanks to all of these items streaming in, we now have a billion dollars just from 3D prints. That means we can get a 3D printer on this third conveyor and a prints a tire. How much are you worth? I need to know. Yoink. 350 million, very nice. And we can already, wait, what? Did we already get a billion again? So we can upgrade this. Wow, we already had half a billion hiding behind there. This is so much money we're collecting. And I just noticed there's a box icon here. Oh, the packing color. Yeah, I unlocked this with the 
achievement, and let's go random, just so we can get a little variety with it. Man, I look away for a second, we have two billion dollars. Time to upgrade the color station. Ideally, we get to the point where everything is colored, but you know, 20 items getting colored is also good. And then we can also put a lot of that towards the packager. Hey, there's another achievement for packaging a whole bunch of things. Oh no, printing. The packaging is over here. We're still working on that. But that means we get another packaging color. A very hot pink. And we can also get a painting station for the second conveyor. Wonder if they're going to be the same colors or a little bit fancier because it's worth more money. Nah, pretty much the same colors. A big purple well. All right then. At least the alarm clock looks good. And I think we have enough money stored up to get this printer to level 30 so we can print a small table sure why not so many things here i wouldn't even think of 3d printing but hey we can get a crown now really want to see this thing get colored oh but it's going too fast oh no oh i got it oh that's not really exciting it looks like the back of an evil mastermind's head and now their printer is at level 36 they're worth one and a half billion for each of them Oh, I like that. Okay, now I'm curious. Can we get this crown to a blue color? For our reasons, but it looks like not. Let's just get some more colors cranking out of there and then speed up the process along. That's a lot of yellows right next to each other. Ooh, 40 billion means we get another printer down here. Are these worth a billion at level one? No, they're worth 14 billion at level one. My goodness. So let's just start packaging up the second conveyor belt. Just because we have a lot of fun colors to work with. And then I just need one more round of 10 levels for this printer to get traffic cones. And each of these being worth 27 million. And oh my gosh, look at the speed of that thing. It's going up at the same rate, but look at the nozzle spit back and forth like that. That is crazy. And then this printer is at level 40, so we can get shoes worth 2.4 billion. I think some basketball player somewhere would pay that. And it's so crazy seeing all these prints fly down the track at high speeds. That is so much money going into the collector right there. Are we close to any other achievements? Lots of objects being painted. Spent more than 30 minutes in the game? Yeah, that's right. Sadly, it doesn't come with a package color, though. Here, let's see how... Oh! I was just gonna crank a bunch of levels into the painter, but that's at max level. Alright, that makes my job easy. And we'll do the same thing for this other one. Sadly, none of those upgrades reduce the cooldown, but at least a lot more items get painted. And speaking of that, we got that achievement. Ooh, and we get a white box. It's like being shipped off to the portal factory or something. Now we really need to upgrade this printer here so it can just go a lot faster because these prints are worth the most right now. 22 billion from these prints. Let me pay a nice no. amount to get it upgraded again. I wonder if these prints are going to be worth a trillion at some point. You know, actually, now that I think about it, none of the things here are worth a trillion for any of the printers or anything. It just goes straight to quadrillion. That's interesting, but at least now we have printers on this level going ludicrous speeds to match the conveyor belt somewhat. And while I'm doing that, I might as well get these top printers to level 50 at least. Not sure if they get any faster beyond that point, but at least it looks nice. And then there's this guy over here, 120. And we have a lot of money now to upgrade this bottom printer a whole bunch. I don't even know what all the things we can print here are. Some glass tubes, a shield, a fire extinguisher. I kind of just want to watch this number go up because it's at a billion. And then from there, it goes straight to small Q for a quadrillion. I guess trillions just don't exist here, but at least we can get another printer making some hard hats. Not sure why anyone would want one of those. They should get an intern hat instead, especially because look at the price of these things. 428 billion for every single one of these. At least my intern hat get a big discount code sneak peek but since we're here we'll just upgrade this printer to make the helmets worth even more and we can use all this money to upgrade this packager to the maximum level so the bar fills up pretty quickly and we can package 24 items at a time which is good because there's a lot of items up here that need packaging and we'll get this painter down here close to the maximum level there we go so now a whole bunch of items can get painted on this conveyor belt in all sorts of fun colors and we'll just make sure that we get more prints of this one like some weird 8-bit apple and a robo dog from everyone's childhood yeah we're literally printing a pixelated apple at least it comes out very nicely and we're gonna get the maximum amount from that 600 billion we'll do a little bit of that some more so we can print is that a phone the achievement screen showed up it's a phone we're literally printing phones Okay then, and we did get the achievement for more than 30 drawings for a 3D printer R. Yes, mm -hmm. and we can literally watch this number go up for more than a thousand objects packaged, which gives us purple boxes. 
Very cool. There's so much money being filtered through here. Hey, at least the phones turned out a good color. And they're worth 573 billion when they're not packaged. And a lot of money later, we get a second printer on the bottom level. That's printing... what is that? It's a robot poodle. Okay. At least that's worth 12Q. Hopefully not 12 quid, because that'd be very small. And that gets us very close already to another printer down here for another robotic animal. How about that? This one looks like a greyhound. Yoink. 36Q, wow. That's a lot of money we can put towards maxing out this packager. Beautiful. So now we're really rolling in the money now. So we'll get this first printer down here to level 40 for a diamond. Ooh, Ooh. big diamond. And then we'll crank up this one to unlock all those patterns. So we're getting bombs, I guess. And oh, look at that little smiley face. Look at that. He's so happy to be here and he's getting painted. Please be a good color. Oh, oh. <laughs> Put it back, please. Or, you know, just send it off to sell it because they're worth a whole lot now. And we can speed this along to get even more money out of this. And also by leveling up this other printer to that level. So we're getting a steering column. All right. Unless that's supposed to be like one of those driver gaming setups. It looks, it actually looks like it is. Well, I wouldn't know anymore. It's being sold for lots of money. And we get the last one of that, a PS5 or... Not a PS5, a PSP. Boy, if people could print their own PS5s. And now we need to work on these printers down here because they're still only at level one. At least we'll get a proper crown there. And now it gives us a pterodactyl. Now we're getting the good stuff. Look at that little guy going off to not get painted because that's worth 550 big Qs. So for now, we'll just build up funds for this 3.4 Q thing. And we got the achievement for buying all the printers. So this has given us a pirate hat worth one big Q. Okay, now I'm gonna use this first printer. I really need to see if there is a maximum level to this because this is just getting ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it's still going. It's still going. Level 200 and it's still going. It's level 241 and it still has room to go higher. Why? And it doesn't even look like it's printing any faster than it did before. At least it's increasing the value of the prints. Now these, at the very beginning, are worth 1.4 the small cues. And when we turn on the fast conveyor belt, the money really starts to go up. It's amazing. Now this printer can get to level 10. Oh my gosh, we're printing hearts? What? Okay, well, a heart there is worth 101Q, so that's definitely not sketchy at all. It also looks like it was made by Aperture Science. Yoink. And then we get briefcases from this printer. That's the most boring thing I've seen in a while. And now we're getting PS4 controllers. Yep, that is definitely a PS4 controller. Oh boy. At least the prints out of this one are almost 1Q. And there they are. So we're getting a lot of money from the bottom row, which is kind of the point. But hey, level 24 there. So we're getting something that I totally missed. It's a toolbox. Really? You give me a heart and then the next thing is a toolbox? You're dialing back a little too far there, I think. And we're still a long ways away from getting the painting station on the bottom row. So let's just put all this money into this printer way at the end. That was the last one that we bought. And it looks like it's giving us robotic triceratops. I like that. So we're getting close to 10 big cues from this one. And then we're getting 12 big cues from this one. Thankfully, just waiting a few minutes and we can get that big painter at the bottom. Worth a lot of money. Now we just have to upgrade a whole bunch so that things can actually get painted properly and a lot of them at once, except now the upgrades are costing the small S's now. So there's a little bit more needed with that one, but that's okay because there's still room to upgrade the printers over here. So we get even more prints like saws and gamer chairs. And now we get, ooh, a robotic bird out of this printer. There's only a few things left really. And by that, I mean, one, I guess. All the new prints stop coming in at level 40 and it's only a few minutes of waiting between each of the upgrades. So we can get a few of those at a time. And I just got the last achievement for clicking objects more than 2,000 times. So that means we also get the final color of packaging. A bright green. Looks like a bunch of Skittles leaving the assembly line. And it looks like the final print available to us is... What is that? Just a giant pixel cube thing. Like of all things, why is it this? It doesn't even color cool like. I guess I'm just gonna sit down here and collect all of these prints as they get painted and sold. And after we've collected 
essentially like six tons of plastic, I want to say, we can get the last packager. So all of these items down here can see their maximum value once they're painted and packaged. And again, we're only packaging a few things at a time and a lot of them really don't make it that far. Here, let's collect all the ones that aren't painted and then we'll package up the colored ones, especially that weird pixel block. And we're getting a lot of cues out of that. And it seems to be all the amount that they're worth. Huh, I guess the only thing left to do now is take all of these small S dollar numbers and pump it all into this first printer here just to see how far this level gets. Well, it's at level 287 and the upgrades are now worth one small S dollar amount. Well, I guess what that tells me is that it's ready to keep going up, but we've really done all that we can here. So today it's all about making large amounts of money off of fruit, but not just rolling them through the conveyor so they cash in over here. No, we're chopping them up because each individual piece is also worth just as much. And so if we just buy a few more of these oranges and they can be worth even more. And we also get some experience so we can level up and add a new conveyor to our belt or a new conveyor belt to our assembly line. You know what I mean? And then there's even more small pieces that are also worth just as much. And now we can buy an apple and the pieces that don't get chopped just roll on in and they cash out. But we get so much money if they cash in over there. Look at that. And we can also increase the income of the fruit so we can get even more there. And then we can get more experience from the fruit. So that means more level ups and then hopefully more conveyors because we have a lot more room down here to use. And now we can get a peach, Yay. slice that up and then slice those bits into even smaller bits. I think it got chopped. It did, yeah, look at all that money. We already have 320, and now we can get a chance of doubling the income. There's also a dancing coin here that makes me wanna watch a video. No! And there's just so much fruit coming through here. Need to get more oranges so that production is even faster. And each individual orange is worth 19. Ooh, level five, just one more and we can get that conveyor. But for now, we'll get a chance of getting double experience. That is so much money going in there, I like it. We'll also buy a few more apples so we can get that monetary income up. So now the oranges and the apples are both worth 20. And there's a level up, another conveyor for us, beautiful. So these quarter chunks get sliced into eights. Who would have thought? And that is a lot of them right there. Ooh, now it's enough that we can get a watermelon. Neat. And just the first level of that gives 20. Oh boy. Though I really wish we could get the chopping speed increased because there's a lot of chunks that are not getting sliced, but the ones that do give us so much back. Yes. Ooh, and now we have a chance to create two fruits. That should be good for us. Hey, there's two oranges right there. Perfect. Oh man, we're getting so many level ups. Chance to buy two fruits at a time? Sure. So we can possibly buy two watermelons so it doesn't look like we did that. Even still, those are giving us 99 a piece. Oh, and this one just got sliced into eighths. That's a lot of money right there. Beautiful, 3,000. And now we have a chance to double fruit creation speed. Perfect. And the orange is already fast, so I can't imagine there's just gonna be even more of them. We're also doing pretty good at unlocking some of these achievements like factory level or the earning money level, but I'm not sure what they do. Maybe they give more experience. Well, there's an achievement. And now we can get, I'm thinking more chance to create two fruits. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting a lime, it looks like. And that's worth 119 just after two purchases. Sadly though, that first one didn't get sliced and this one did, good. Go through the line. I need you to make me all the money. Okay, it got sliced once there. That piece didn't, but now it should hopefully be, yes. Oh, maximum, almost maximum out of that line. Perfect. We can already buy it again and it can get us $178 a piece. And now we have 13 points that we can use to get another conveyor. Ooh, and it looks like there's more after this, but the screen's already full. So it just mashes them into little cubes. That's perfect. That, because that's just a wave of money going through. Just watching this climb super rapidly. You could probably buy a lot of oranges with all that money. So much so that it becomes a $37 orange when it used to be just one. So let's go ahead and increase the income from each of the fruits an extra 20%, how about 30%? And then the experience gain can be upped as well. And now the oranges cost a thousand to upgrade. So let's go ahead and buy some more apples until that is worth a thousand. And then we'll do the same with the peaches. The watermelons are already there. So we'll just buy a lime because those give us the most. And we're seeing some lime cubes right now. Not as many as I would like, but they'll come through again. There we go. We're getting a lot of lime chunks through here and then all that should get mashed. Oh, beautiful. 
Yes, that's a lot of cubes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can't even read how much money I'm getting. But now we have 16 points. We can get another conveyor belt. And then it moves down into these whatever those are. So they get scooped up. And then something happens, right? Oh, look at that. We got miniature fruits. Oh my gosh, that was worth a thousand. A miniature orange gives us... That's a lot right there. So we're basically just crushing the fruit and slicing it and dicing it and all that so it's even smaller and then we're making small fruits out of it and that just gives us so much money right there Ooh, a small peach that was worth three thousand all by itself and we can buy this looks like a coconut Ooh, we can buy it again actually sadly though the first one didn't get sliced at all that's tragic but i do want to see more chances to double the fruit speed oh we could have also reduced the cost of fruit i didn't see that before oh well let's just buy more oranges until that's costing us like 10,000. So that's giving us 66 income. And now we are running really low on money. So we should probably just let this run for a little while and then look at what upgrades we can get. Like there, reducing the cost and it's only 5% each time. So we'll just buy that twice. And we just had to wait a little bit more and we can get another conveyor. So we have five of those. Where does it even go after the small fruits? Ooh, that was a lot of small coconut pieces. I would love to see one of those. Yes, okay, it goes through and then... It absolutely just passes away unharmed. Need to see. Okay, it's an it's even smaller size, so we're getting even smaller pieces. Oh my goodness, we're going quantum with these fruits. But hey, let's just get a pair. So the pears on the first level give us 632, but they're so expensive. Thankfully, we can still get a lot of apples for the money that we do have. So those are almost worth 100 by themselves. And it's good that we're still gaining experience from all these small pieces as well, so we can put it towards increased chances of double fruit, as well as possibly gain double money because. That's that's always good. And now we can buy another pair. So that's giving us 2,000 roughly of coins. Ooh, and a small pair just got sliced right there. Oh, that's awesome. 12,000 for each of those. This is a really good production we have going on here. Though I really wonder what decides the fruit that's gonna pop out of these like compactors. Probably whatever is most present. Ooh, but there's another pair. Yes, go through, give me the good monies. And oh, it dodged everything. Well, now we can get the double creation bonus up to 12%. I like seeing double digits on that. And we can also get additional experience from each of the fruits. Oh, and there's a lot of good fruits to get sliced there if they could, you know, go a little bit slower like these ones are. And now with 705,000 monies, we can get whatever that is. I honestly have no idea what that is. Is that a mango? I'm not sure that's a mango. It just rolls funny and it doesn't get sliced. Why is the first fruit that I get never get sliced? Oh, well, at least we have 22 points that we can use to get the two fruits chance up to 12%. Very good. And I just love seeing the different fruit pieces just go oh, down yeah. like a waterfall to the next conveyor belt. And then we get three fruits at a time going through here and none of them get sliced because they're too speedy. And I think it's time we increase the price of all these other fruits because like the peach here can get us 289 by itself. And the orange is only giving us 72, but it's producing a lot. And we're really seeing the speed up fruit production bonus happen with this one. And now we can have the coconuts give us a thousand for each of those. And now the apples actually do give us a hundred and the oranges still take quite a bit longer. They're getting expensive. Maybe I should reduce their cost a little bit more. Yeah, sure, why not? A few more times there, so the fruits are 80% what they were before. Now we just need a little more experience. And yes, now we can get another conveyor belt to see what happens after these get sliced. I'm guessing they just get quartered again. But no, the first ones, of course, never do. But there's a lot more of those chobby blades in this one than the last one. They really want to make sure they get diced. And good thing, too. Look at all that money. We now have a million monies with us, but I still can't even buy the next fruit. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to get more of these weird yellow ones so that each of those give us 5,000. And now they cost a million to buy again. Gross. Let's just put that money towards the watermelons because those are somehow the cheapest thing right now. So we get those generating 560 monies for us. And now the limes can give us 600. And the oranges are still quite a ways away from giving us 100 for them. Oh, you tragic things. Now we just need a little bit more money. Ooh, but we leveled up. Oh, I didn't even spend any points, so we can't get the next conveyor already. Excellent! What is that thing? Is that a juicer? I don't know, but let's throw this new fruit into it. Oh, it's a kiwi! But it looks like this needs a lot of fruit to build up the juice for it. Thankfully, these diced up pears should do that for us. Oh, and it closed? Okay. Oh! It's just... Wait, that's not even juice. That's just a straight up block, but it gave us 
like 872,000 monies. Ooh, and we're getting another one already. But that one was only worth 90,000. That's disappointing. And we still have 15 points left over. So let's get the double creation up to 15%. That's a good number for a percentage. I wonder if we get these like more expensive fruits through there, if that'll be like an, a million coin block, which these ones are not that, but I'll take the money. It's just a shame that there's only one of those on this belt. Booyah! Oh, there it is. There's a million block. That came a lot sooner than I thought it would. But now we can get another Kiwi with all that money. And the good thing about this production is that it uses the whole Kiwi like you should. Oh, and I guess that's a max level conveyor belts too. So the block of fruit is the ultimate goal here and a good thing too that gives us so much money not that one but like other ones can and there's still two more fruits we haven't seen yet I guess three, but these two are just a mystery. So now that we have all these experience points that we can't use for the conveyors, let's go ahead and put them all into increasing the money gains from the fruit, which effectively use all of them. Nice. So that's a 70% bonus to the income. And that block becomes 198,000. Disappointment. Oh, and I just noticed that buying those money bonuses got the orange above 100. Neat. That's where I wanted it to be. Now let's get the lime up to a thousand and then the watermelon up to a thousand just so it looks a little bit better. There we go. And now we can get one of these kiwis effectively, which is 22,000 for each of those pieces. Although the sense of how much each of those pieces is worth kind of gets lost when they become compressed into the, like little miniature fruits here. But having all those pieces end up as a big expensive juice block is very good for us. I don't even know if it's juice. I'm just it's a block. I know that much. And now we can get the income bonus all the way to 100%. So we're doubling the money we get from all the fruits, which will look really good when all this gets pressed into juice. So that block is worth... 247,000, really? I literally saw one just pump out like 15 million. And you're doing that? Well, at least you do have 34 million stored up so we can get... I don't even know what that is. It's a strawberry, okay. Worth 26.2 thousand by itself. Will the first one get sliced? Definitely not. Never fails. Unless not being sliced counts as failing, in which case it always fails. Well, let's see if we can get the chance to double fruit creation speed up to 20%. There we go. And then we can hopefully do the same thing with this one. Not yet. And then the next fruit we have to buy is another citrus. What are you going to be, a lemon? Well, at least we can buy another strawberry right away, so that's cool. And I need to see if there's bits that are going to go through the process fully. Okay, there's a chopped strawberry, and it drops down, and it looks like it's going to get chopped again by hopefully one of them. No, I just missed all of them. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? And it takes so long to produce. It's like time to miss all of them. Like it's gonna miss. Oh no, it didn't miss that one. And ooh, there's a chopped strawberry. Yes. So that goes down and then it doesn't get chopped again. It's slowly making its way down the chain, but it'll be a while before we get down here. So we're just gonna increase our chances of getting double money, which is already doubled. So that would be like quadruple money. Ooh, that looks like a high money block right there. And it is... 1.9 million. You were like that like 20 minutes ago. And then it looks like all these chunks are going to fill up the bar perfectly. And then you're going to give us 86,000. Oh, was I expecting it to be different? But we did get a lot of upgrade points from that. So we can get better chances of getting double fruits up to 21%. Pretty good there. And we can buy some more strawberries. And that one gave us 13 million. That's what I'm talking about. It is kind of disappointing how some of these blocks of juice stuff can go all the way through. And okay, 2 million there. But sometimes it gives out less than if just these normal slices went through. So what we could do at that point is take some of these fruits that get through more often, like the watermelons and the limes, and then make their value go up even more. So their total cost becomes about a million. And they're giving us 1,000, 4,000, almost 8,000 there. And I think the best thing we can get right now is increased income a few times and then chance for double money because we're really close to getting the next level of fruit. Will this block get us there? Ooh, 2.7 million and that does it. So we get Oh my gosh, it is a lemon. Why am I not surprised? But just one of those gives a 6,000. Will it hold up the tradition of not getting sliced right away? It actually does get sliced right away. Good, do some good things for us. We need the money. So it goes on even more. Oh yeah, it's getting diced up beautifully. And then it gets crushed, hopefully. Oh no, it didn't get crushed. Fine, cash out. Ooh, I think that actually created a double lemon right there. There's only one going through, but... I'll take it. Need to see it get pressed into juicy little bits. Yes. And then get swept up into a smaller fruit, which is sadly a peach. And it looks like the peach is about where it ends. Tragic. And then the last fruit takes 398 million to get. And it looks like a pomegranate. Oh my gosh. That brick was 36 million all by itself. That's amazing. Now let's just get another lemon. 
and that total income from there is 173,000 just off of two upgrades. Hopefully we can see that in action. Yes, there we go. Get those sliced up even more. Hopefully you get, okay, one slice got quartered and there it goes again. Looking very good all around for that whole stash. And I cannot tell if the lemon is in there. You just sort of lose track of everything as it moves down the line. But diced up coconuts and watermelons are good for us. And they finish off the brick and the brick is worth... 297,000. Why do you disappoint me so? Also, the rate that we're leveling up is pretty slow now, so maybe it's worth putting upgrades into this one so we can get an extra 70% bonus to the experience. All right, I think I see lemon bits going through. <gasps> There's a tiny melon right... A lemon right there. Yes, and it got sliced in half. Oh, come on. You can get chopped again. And no, oh, it survived. But we still got... Wow, nice monies from that. So with 33 points, we can get the double money chance up to 21%. Looking good. And then the rest of these points, I guess, can be used for a chance of double experience. Tiny lemon goes through. Yes, and it's chopped in half. And it looks like it's got a good chance of getting quartered. Yes! Go, little lemon bits. Go get pressed into a brick so you can give me lots of money. Hopefully it's a lot. It is 2.4 million. Not as much as I would have hoped. Although it is pretty satisfying watching all these different fruits go through the conveyor belt like they do. Especially the if they're all just pouring off the seen. side like that. And then they do it again in even smaller bits. And then I think this whole batch is gonna go into the juice box. Except it filled up pretty early, so that's just tragic right there. Although 15 million, I wouldn't say, is tragic. And now with 32 points, we can get the double chance bonus up to 27%. So almost a third of the time there's a double money happening and then almost 10% of the time there's double experience happening. Oh, and there it is. With 400 million, we can get the last fruit, which it seems like it is a pomegranate. And I think we know what's going to happen here with the first one that shows up. Drops down, goes and it goes. Oh, it does get sliced. Can it keep it up though? I sure hope it does. Oh, we got half of it sliced. So more of it goes through the line and it keeps going into nice little quarters. Please get pressed. Yes. Okay. That little bit at the front is the pomegranate that we need. And it Oh, it got one tiny bit scooped up, but that's not enough. But still, those are big gains from those tiny cubes. Can we see another one do that? It looks like we're about to. Ooh, perfect. Both of those halves got quartered. This is looking odd. Oh, missed that one. Well, even so, each of those are worth quite a bit, and some of them got the double money bonus. So even though we spent most of our money, we're already back up to 78 million. I'd say that's pretty good. It'd be even better if a double money bonus happened on these bricks here, but some of them score so low. Ooh, 21 million. Okay, that might have been a double money bonus. I don't know. It's a bit hard to tell sometimes because it can either score that high. Ooh, 32 million. Oh, that's awesome. And that one is 17 million. Now we're starting to get good gains from the bricks, although some bricks only give us 1 million. And so some of them are pretty worthless, but we have more experience points so we can just give ourselves some more chance for bonuses up to 33%. Now it is a third of the time and we have a few bits of pomegranate going through the line now. Yes, there's an eighth and then it should line up to get squashed into tiny little cubes. Oh, but it might miss a scooping. Ooh, no, it did get scooped. Oh, I really want to see a tiny pomegranate roll through here. That'd be amazing. Ooh, there's a tiny pomegranate, but it it made it all the way through to the score box, so it gave us 5 million. So it makes me think that these actually don't collect the cubes and put them into, like, a random fruit. It just collects the bits, and then when there's enough of the bits of each of the fruits, then it makes a smaller fruit. I don't know if that made sense. All right, I'm starting to see some good things happen here. We got pomegranate bits being pressed into juice, and then they get scooped. Yes, there's a tiny pomegranate. All right, you just gotta make it through to get sliced in half. Yes, good, looking very good. Okay, hopefully you get diced into quarters or something like that. Yes! They're gonna get juiced, and the juicing is empty, so they're all gonna go in. Oh, that's so good, and there's some coconuts in there too. Those are, okay, not as, not as high up the tree as I thought they would be, but now we have a big brick about to be made, and it's worth 130 million. Oh, that is amazing. That lets us buy another pomegranate, and then another lemon, because why not? That is some good gains there. So let's just get the double fruit chance up to 27%, and we are seeing a lot more double fruits drop down. Ooh, we just got a double pomegranate. Oh, and they all got sliced. Oh, this is gonna be good. As long as they all get diced properly, they are good, but this row kind of sucks. We have one bit of pomegranate going through, but it is doing pretty good for getting diced properly. It's just not going to be scooped, I don't think. Okay, I got scooped a little bit, but not enough to make a small one. Or we do have a small pomegranate right there, and it's going to get juiced. Yes, it's ahead of everything else. It's going to get juiced. 
Oh, perfect. That already adds so much to the brick score. So it gives 42 million. Okay, it's a lot better than the, you know, sub 1 million bricks that we were getting before. I'll take it. And we just keep getting more and more money. This is quite a satisfying operation we have. And I think that just about does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to let me know and sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupal Long, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Minor Within, Degarity, Sans, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.